Well, China is pushing for a peaceful resolution to the conflict in Ukraine. Premier Li Keqiang says Beijing is deeply concerned, but he stopped short of condemning Russia's attack. Olivia Xiong with this report. The deepening crisis in Ukraine was front and center as Chinese Premier Li Keqiang met the media for his annual news conference at the close of the country's parliament session. Taking two questions on the conflict right at the start of what's typically a highly choreographed affair, Mr. Li was asked if the country would continue to refrain from condemning Russia's actions regardless of what it does. But Mr. Li did not answer the question directly and offered no criticism for Moscow either. He also continued to avoid calling Russia's actions an invasion. Ukraine Beijing has tried to maintain a balance between what is called a rock-solid friendship with Moscow while also being wary of potential repercussions of outright support. Mr Li reiterated China's position that the sovereignty of all countries had to be respected, along with their legitimate security concerns, a reference to Russia's opposition over NATO's eastward expansion. The Chinese Premier instead called for the utmost restraint to prevent a massive humanitarian crisis, pledging that China will continue to provide humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Mr Li, however, was unequivocal in speaking out against sanctions imposed by the US and its allies on Russia. While China has blamed the U.S. for stoking tensions in Ukraine, Mr. Li took on a more conciliatory tone when talking about Beijing's overall relationship with Washington. He said while there have been ups and downs, China's relations with the U.S. are still moving forward. But Mr. Li also made clear there needs to be respect of each other's core interest, as bilateral ties continue to be plagued by tension on various fronts, top of which is over the self-ruled island of Taiwan. Mr. Li reiterating Beijing's position that it is committed to the One China principle and firmly opposed to separatist activities, which it sees the U.S. as encouraging. This news conference that's typically fronted by the Chinese Premier at the end of China's annual political meetings each year looks to be the last for Mr. Li, as he confirmed that he is into the last year in the post as Premier. This comes as he rounds off two straight five-year terms at the helm. Now all eyes next will be on a key twice-a-decade Communist Party Congress that's to be held here in Beijing later in the year, where we will also be looking out for clues as to who Mr. Li's successor Maybe. While there is no clear candidate in sight for now, what's more certain is Chinese President Xi Jinping will cement his leadership as he is more than likely to be granted an unprecedented third term in power. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.